video from a little over three months ago titled Amir versus Teo on Hebrew. And that video covered how my brother Amir al tried to question the twins, the Teo twins, on their claims about the Hebrew language and how one of the twins replied to those questions with red herrings, with exhibitions of intellectual frustration, and finally with censorship, which is to say that they avoided Amir's questions, they tried to change the subject, and then finally they deleted the whole correspondence. And now, in a second installment in what might be shaping up as a bit of a series, I'd like to title this video, Saya vs. Teo, on cartography. And we're going to see a similar pattern here. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. It begins with this Facebook post from Saturday, the 16th of September. And first and foremost, note that the post is public, or at least it was when this screenshot was taken. And in that post, Yakoba of Teo Ministries wrote the following. Quote, they lied about who the people? Check. They lied about the people's color? Check. They lied about the language? Check. And I, I just want to stop here really quickly to say that I honestly don't think the twins want to have a serious discussion about the Hebrew language. Even the video I just mentioned, which covered Amir al Umaral's attempt to engage them on that topic, even that video shows their unwillingness to discuss that topic, to have a serious discussion on it. So this bit about people lying about the Hebrew language seems like a bluff, but I digress. Let's get back to the post, which continues as follows. They lied about Egypt? Check. They lied about the true land of Israel? If they lied about all of this, you think they forgot to lie about the true land of Israel? End quote. And then they showed this image, which juxtaposes a colorized facsimile of Abraham Bard Jacob's map of Palestine with a map of West Africa. The Teo twins' handling of this map, which at first might have been described as clumsy, but now might be described as dishonest, uh, their handling of that map has been addressed in several different videos, and I'll link to those videos in the description. But immediately relevant to those past videos, notice first and foremost that the twins used an incredibly blurry image of the map, and then, conveniently, the northern tip of the compass is cut off, and you'll see in a moment why that's relevant. Whatever the case, Saya commented on their post as follows, quote, You're kidding me with this map again, right? End quote. Yacoba replied, quote, I don't care what you think. End quote. And then Saya responded to that as follows, quote, You're misleading the people with this map, Yacoba. What about orienting the map with the compass that's on the map? Why is that so hard? End quote. Yacoba then shot back with the following longer comment, quote, First of all, the personification points to it being Africa. Secondly, when the map is oriented to the Middle East location, it does not fit. You must have watched Abu's video. He tried to line it up with the Middle East, and it was like putting the right shoe on the left foot. I have proven beyond a doubt my position. You act like the map is the only thing I have presented. You don't believe what I'm teaching? Then go away. End quote. Then Saya returned with the following comment, quote, No, I oriented the map myself, and it has a slight lean to it, just like the coastal Levant. You should know us better by now. Sound methodology is our staple. The people need that at the very least, and I'm not concerned about the other things you presented. I'm concerned about this map, which you're still trying to push as the west coast of Africa. And just because I may not believe in certain things you teach does not mean I can't scholastically look into what you're feeding the people. Israel deserves to not be made fools of by trusting and repeating bad arguments made by leaders of the community, end quote. Yacoba offered no meaningful reply to that. Instead, he wrote, believe what you want, bye. And then he wrote, quote, I am pushing Negro land, dumb ASS, end quote. Uh, although he was kind enough to use dollar signs uh, for S's. But whatever the case, uh, Saya offered uh, a final comment, which read, no need to curse Yacoba. It's just a discussion between two men. At least that's what I assumed, end quote. <laughs> that's a great ending. Uh, now, it's my understanding that shortly thereafter, the whole subthread was deleted and the post was set to private. And it would seem that Yacoba doesn't want 
the public scrutinizing his reasoning, and he also doesn't want his supporters to see the objections of others. I don't know about you, but I'd say that this all hints at a rather clear lack of confidence in his own objections, in his own arguments, in his own reasoning. But having said that, let's consider those objections. First, let's pull up a clearer image of the map Yacoba was appealing to, and now let's consider his objections. First, he said that the personification points to it being Africa, and he's referring to the image at the bottom right. Uh, then, second, when the map is oriented to the Levant, or as he calls it, the Middle East location, it doesn't fit. Okay, so with that, let's see about this. First, regarding orienting the map, that has to do with the compass, which Jacoba conveniently cut off. The north is designated by the fleur de lis, serving as a pointer, and as well it's also designated by the Hebrew word tzaphon, which means north, and that'll be relevant in a moment. However, before we get to properly orienting the map, let's look at that personification of Africa, which Yacoba alluded to, and that is this picture here. Now note that immediately above that depiction, the text reads Eretz Mitzrayim which means land of Egypt. And right next to that, it reads Alexandri in reference to Alexandria. Let's keep those two things in mind as we orient the map again. So here's a physically printed out copy of the relevant map. And once again, we're going to zoom in on the compass and then we're going to rotate it so that the northern point is pointing upwards. And once that's done, we can zoom back out. Now, Yacoba claimed that this doesn't fit with the Levant or with Palestine. Well. Note that this map is more than 300 years old. You know, it, it dates to the end of the 17th century, so it's not perfect, right? But if we overlay a modern image of Palestine and part of Egypt, taken from Google Maps, we'll see quite a bit of overlap. And admittedly, it's not a perfect fit, but who thinks cartography in the late 1600s was anything remotely close to an exact science, right? It, honestly, it should be expected that precise proportions and precise dimensions might be off. But note this. Recalling the location of that personification of Egypt, we can say that in both maps, the Levant slopes upwards away from Egypt, and it slopes upwards in a northeast direction. Moreover, Egypt in general, and more specifically Alexandria, are southwest of the Holy Land. So let's ask this question. Can Yacoba say with a straight face that Egypt is to the southwest of West Africa? Right? That wouldn't make any sense. He complains about this not being a perfect fit with the Levant, but it doesn't fit at all with that West Africa. So raising another question, might the Teo twins have a double standard? Might they be using uneven scales? <laughs> Perish the thought, right? But sadly, we can't really discuss this with them directly as it's become harder and harder to reach them as they reside in the, the safety of their heavily censored echo chamber. But with that, I'll close this short video here. Once again, like when the Teo twins had their brief correspondence with Amir, here too we see that all they had to offer were exhibitions of frustration and then censorship. And one final question that needs to be asked is why would that be the case, right? Why would they need to offer these exhibitions of intellectual frustration and why would they have to resort to censorship if their arguments were as strong as they try to convince their supporters that they are? You know, honestly food for thought. Whatever the case, as always, I welcome any comments, questions, or criticisms. Unlike the Teo twins, I don't censor people here. So feel free to share your thoughts, whether positive or negative, and God bless.